if you are going through your menstrual cycle right now and really battling with pain as you can, we might just have a few tips for you and you get to laugh at Ryle at the same time. <laughs> I don't know if you're gonna be laughing at me, I'm gonna be laughing at myself, but we're gonna be having a lot of fun and we have no embarrassment. This is a safe space and this is a space where we're encouraging everybody to move with us right now. So uh, right now our guest is dealing with a little bit of cramp, but don't worry, when you're plagued with cramps, bloating and fatigue, the last thing you might want to do is work out. But studies show that exercise can be optimal for the treatment of symptoms when it comes to premenstrual syndrome, otherwise known as PMS, as well as period pain. So we've got the one and only here to take us through this exercise. It's Natalie Daniels in the building and uh, looking a little bit grumpy with the cramps, but apparently movement assists us. Isn't that right, Natalie? How are you feeling? Uh, Where's the pain? Morning. Good morning. <laughs> so one this, of those this is usually that, that look you okay. get when it's that time of the month. All you've right. got your gown, you've got your hot water bottle, you've got your coffee, and all you want to do is just sit and not do anything. Mm. But I'm here to give you a surprise. Right. One of the joys of it is get out of it. Snap out of it. I know some of the ladies, that time of the month, it's heavy. It's heavy flow. It's pain galore. You don't want to be around people. Yeah. But what I always do is I try and, you know, moderate movement. Um, a big shout out to one of my ladies. The last night came and she she literally had, it was that time of the month, but I had a bit of high impact. She still with showed her, up, yeah. And she still showed up. I love so that. again, it's all about, I always say it's the mind over the mm. pain. And, if, and I think this is a cool uh, opportunity for me to maybe also say, like, gents can also get involved in this. Like, you go. can assist your partners. Yeah. You can work out together. Beautiful. There's nothing wrong with it. I think you can also be that incentive and keeping your partner accountable at the same time. So you're not in it alone. Really? I know we're never going to experience the pain that you do in terms of this time of the month, and I will never try to relate to that. Uh, that is something that I absolutely respect for what you have to go through. But at the same time, I think we can be there to support. Beautiful. So even if you can relate this to labor pain, so you get this contraction, it's literally your abdominal area. So I want you to try it now, quickly. Okay. Lower there. I want you to pull it as tight as you can. Keep it there. Yeah, just keep it there. What, and for the whole day? Yeah, just like... keep it there. Okay, keep it casual. There, like, couple of there. <laughs> so it really puts pressure on, yeah. on, on that yeah. abdominal area. And all you want to do is literally just release it slowly. Think of that pain and work work with the pain. Because what right. we do, we like, oh, it's so sore and you're pretty slouching. The more you do that, even in, in, yeah. in when you're delivering and stuff, people feel that, that extra. So it's more. But now what we're going to do, one of the exercises yeah, we always tell the girls, it's a normal one, which I'm sure you're aware of. It's your squat. So your yeah. feet apart. And all you're doing, you're just squatting. You're breathing not too low, breathing through that pain. You're going to give me four more. Almost want to say good girl, but you are you now good girl. <laughs> I'll take and it. Three. <laughs> and two. Now from there, I want you to stay there. Now I want you to pull in that. I want you to feel how a night is oh, for yeah. some girls. So pull it in. Okay, it's even working in the lower back. So mm. that's what you usually feel when you um, PMSing or um, menstrual yeah, pain. Entire, like, pelvic yes, girdle just lower gets, everything. Like, okay, <laughs> and all you're gonna do, bring it up. Now lower back the other issue. And all you're doing, you're touching your toes, and you bring it back. Everything is slowly. Done. You're getting yourself out of that mode and you're getting that good hormones. You're pumping up that good hormones. Can you give me four more? That's lower back. And it and doesn't need to be take over the no. world and run a 500 meter marathon or yep. anything crazy like that. It's all about, I think, just movement, right? Exactly. And that movement at the same time. Last one. And the basic one you can do, I mean, I know different days, different moods, different pains. So yeah. the first day you could just, you know, just a basic walk. Mm. That helps you. Second day, you could maybe just a slight little run. Third day or second day, you could do basic ones. But okay, just so keep moving. There we go. I Next like one that. we're gonna go, we're gonna go on the floor. Okay. So again, it is all basics of core. Yeah. You're gonna put your hands on the on the mat for me. And all you're gonna do, knees together, and you're just gonna lift it up, <sighs> breathe. I know, and relax. Oh, that really? definitely targets the abdomen. Yes, yeah, so you, you're not contracting and pulling it there because it's already contracted. Mm. It's already mm. ana. So all you're doing, you're bringing extra pain and then you're releasing it slowly. Okay, we're gonna hey. do two more, bring it up. And release it, good. So is this something that essentially will allow us to, number one, understand our muscle connection, there that mind-muscle mind, mind connection, at the same time, Long. allow us to kind of relax, yes, you not can get you... too tight in all the regions, and, and then the entire body thing. starts to compensate and feel there all that go. pain, Give right? me one more, and breathe. Oh. I've got to say, it's still effective. I'm even, like, shaking here while I'm doing this. It's definitely <laughs> And I imagine for point. having that cramp while yeah. doing it. And then just touching the toes, bringing it back. Let's go. Touching the toes, you trying to alleviate the pain 
in the lower. So try and go all the way back, because as you're going back, you, ah, you activate yes. that, it, it, that sort of okay, eccentric load on the more. abs there. Nice. And last Oh, one. yeah, I can feel that. Ooh, and you're going to hold it now. Now there's a uh, Aina happening right there. So come back, come back all the way. Hold it for eight counts. Three, <sighs> seven. It's, I'm really not in the mood to do this, Natalie. I just want to rather be on my couch. So Natalie, I'm proud of you. Chocolate you showed and anything. Up. And we go, Despite and all the pain, you made it. You did it. Get those endorphins flowing. Really? <laughs> Here we go. And usually the other one, I always try and push is your planks, which yes. is also Great very before, beneficial. Yeah. And it just... Listen, even though that was like a chilled workout, I definitely feel like I earned us off a sweat and uh, oh, well, look at this VIP service. I yes. like it. Thank you so Thank much, you kind so much, sir. sir. And uh, I think we definitely earned this one. I think for all the women out there, push through, stay strong, but just keep moving. As you heard Natalie says, don't have to do anything crazy, but do something that you can enjoy and love and just keep moving. Cheers to that. Yes. <laughs>